It is a, a very complex and sophisticated marketplace. It's a tremendous organization. If every leader, if they spend a little time, you could be on a high of both equanimity and exuberance. It could do wonders to who you are and the work that you're doing. There is much further leadership to learn from the natural organization of what's happening in the world, especially soil and the life upon it. It's the most complex operation going on, <laughs> however big your company is, whatever complex operations you may be doing, it's nothing compared to what's happening just beneath your feet in the form of soil. It is a, a very complex and sophisticated marketplace, a million times more complex than any stock market in the world. So leadership has something to learn from nature, particularly from soil and all life around us, because it's a... an organism is a tremendous organization. We are trying to build organizations in a linear fashion. We have CEOs. In my understanding, a CEO means a completely engaged organism is a CEO. Instead of that, you become an officer, which is a mistake, if you ask me, because the type of management we are trying to do is like manicuring a garden. If you have a manicured garden, well, it looks nice, not to my eyes though, but it generally looks nice for people who like everything in control. But if you do not manage or maintain your garden for just thirty days or sixty days or maybe ninety days, well, your garden would have just completely disappeared. Here, we are in this forest. How long it's been there, nobody knows or anybody's guess, let's say a million years. Million years it's managed itself because that is the power of organisms. The cyclical nature of organisms, how it manages itself, everybody is talking about sustainability. You cannot think of sustainability, you can only perceive sustainability from the way the nature's construct is. And above all, if every leader People who are managing complex situations in life, if they spend a little time, if not on a daily basis, at least on weekends or on vacations, they spend some time connected to the soil, well, we have already told you, the microbiome vacay. The bacteria present in various aspects of soil, cow dung and in many other places, if you're just in touch with it, if your body or if your feet are on the soil, just by inhalation, you can get this. This microbiome vacay stimulates a neurobiological response by generating serotonin. That means if you did this in the weekend, during the week, you could be on a high of both equanimity and exuberance. And this is very vital for leaders, because when a leader is in a nasty mood, many people's life will become nasty. And in the end, what we create may be a nasty consequence. It's extremely important, people who are in leadership positions, who have the power to determine where other people's lives are going, it's extremely important that they are on a high on life. High, not on alcohol, high, not on drugs, but high on life itself, because life is the most complex chemistry. If you handle this well by being in touch with the source of life, which here is soil, 
natural waters. Well, it could do wonders to who you are and the work that you're doing and to the world at large. So here I am sitting on a tiny little island, which is leaking a bit <laughs> No, CEO does not mean you become an island among people. You become an island in the world. Because I keep hearing corporate world, that means you become an island. No, it's not about being an island. Let's give a new description for CEO, completely engaged organism. Or if you like to call yourself an officer, completely engaged officer.